that we do not lose contact with what has brought us to this point. There would be no phytotherapy without the proven workability of traditional herbal medicine. Herbal medicine is taken seriously today and redefined as phytotherapy because it has sustained a very long history, hasn't it? A very long history indeed. What you probably need to keep in your mind today is that you are sitting down and learning about the most ancient healing system known to mankind. In all the ancient li literature, including the book of Genesis, the herb is mentioned. And it's fascinating and interesting, isn't it, that here we are, so far down the track. Whether we call it phytotherapy or not, whether we use the phytochemical explanation or not, essentially what we are doing is carrying on a tradition that goes back unbrokenly in time, where the herb has maintained a continuity and an importance in healing, which today in the modern world has led to its being taken more seriously than ever, I would argue. So botanic medicine, medical herbalism, phytotherapy, they are all terms used to describe the practice of a system of medicine where the herb is seen to be the primary agent to restore health. Associated with the idea of herbal medicine, of course, is where does herbal medicine fit into the world today? Why is it that in a modern 21st century, why is it that we are still insistent and so interested in maintaining the banner of herbal medicine? Why use herbs today? in a world that is hell-bent on reducing the treatment of human disease to designer drugs. Well, I suggest that there are a few things that explain why we are here, to here today, why our practices are successful, and while even in a time of economic downturn, people will still seek out the services of professional practitioners. I practice in not the most affluent areas of New South Wales. I retreated from Sydney in the 80s. I couldn't cope with the North Shore, the nonsense, the attitudes, the fake accents, um, and retreated back, treat, retreated back to the central coast of New South Wales, which is a commuter town, lovely beaches, but that's about all, and back to my roots in Newcastle, which is essentially an old working class town with beautiful working class people.